Japan is famous for its bullets trains, but it's also a country where many trains still run at ground level. And this shows a rather large mast and yards near Mount Fuji in Japan. The more famous railway system is the Shikansen, which sometimes is called a bullet train, although when I was in Japan 30 years ago it was called an elevated train. The distinctive feature of the these bullet trains is that the system consists of two tracks. This is the up track going from Osaka to Tokyo and this lower one is the track going in the opposite direction. The distinctive feature of the railway stations on this, sis this railway system is that many of the smaller towns have two platforms but four tracks at their railway stations. So we can see that going through the center are two tracks, one up and one down for express trains and trains that wish to stop at this station come into a what's called a passing loop and they stop at the platform. This system of passing loops at stations and minor stations means that express trains can go past slower trains and the whole system runs much more efficiently. The other distinctive feature is that the whole railway system for this bullet train system is a ele elevated railway system and we can see that this is the road in the town and pedestrians and vehicles can easily move from one side of the railway track to the other. If we escalate out of this we can move to another part of the track further along from the, the town and we'll see that the same feature of having elevated trains means that the whole system functions and no accidents have been recorded on the Shikansen railway system. Timetable for the Shikansens which go from the western side of Tokyo to Osaka and then on to Kayata. I had the pleasure of 30 years ago of travelling on this line, getting on and off the Shikansen at various places including going from Tokyo to Shinfuji and then rejoining the train and going to Nagoya then on to Kyoto and Osaka and then finally to Hiroshima and then down to a place called Beppu which is near the Kata on the other island. The features of the timetable is showing that the Shikansen has a number of services. The N and M services are for reserve seating on most occasions and these trains are trains that go to the major stations and towns whereas the H, S and K services are non-reserved and tend to visit many stations and are slower. If we look at the service out of Tokyo in the morning between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock we can see that there's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 trains leaving Tokyo and the interesting one is if we look at the 826 train which is a K service which is stopping at all stations it reaches Shinfuji at 9.39 and reaches Nagoya 
at 11.15. The train which leaves four minutes later from Tokyo gets to Nagoya an hour and two minutes before the other train, which means it must have passed the end service must have passed the K service at one of the stations because the line in the section at Shinfuji is a single track and so the only way that it could get round and pass the K service is by means of the passing loop which occurs at the Shinfuji station and 8.30 we'll see that there are 10 trains leaving with spacings as little as 3 minutes. Of interest is the train, the K service, which leaves at 7.56. It gets to Shinosaka at 11.50. Whereas the train which left 3 trains later, 8 o'clock, 8.03 and 8.10, all get to Shinosaka before the K service does. This means that the N, H and N trains at some point must have passed this K service. So three different trains have passed the K service along its trip from Tokyo to Shinosaka and at least one of those places where the passing can occur is at Shinfuji as shown in the video where there's only two platforms but four tracks in that put short section the, the line between these cities is only one track up and one track down so passing loops means that you can have a greater capacity of people traveling on the railway lines charges different amounts for fast trains as compared to the uh, normal or station or local trains because obviously it takes more energy to uh, go at high speed. So if we look at the trip between Tokyo and Shinazaka we can see that the basic fare for the very fast trains is 8,000 750 yen which is $99 Australian and then there is an express charge which varies upon the season of 5,390 yen which is $60 Australian so that going at high speed comes at a premium which the customers can choose to pay or take the slower train and avoid paying the express train charges. In the design of railway platforms in the 20th century, around about this point is where the pedestrian underpass would have been located between the two platforms. people to uh, get from this to the bus stop at the interchange. All of the passengers have to walk down to the level crossing and uh, hope that no trains are coming.
while people are waiting for the lights so they can cross over. Cars are all waiting. Some of the cars are waiting at Salisbury Avenue intersection with Park Terrace. How many people are waiting and for how long? All the cars we can't see. This is the track diagram <coughs> for the Adelaide Metropolitan Railway System. This is Gawler Central, a single track currently with a single platform. Gawler Oval coming into Gawler with a branch up to Roseworthy. And we can see that as we come down, it is two tracks. And basically there's nowhere where an express train can pass a local train. And here we are at the railway station. If we look at the timetable for the Gawler line, we can see that between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock there are seven trains that can arrive at Adelaide Railway Station. These trains are running at an average speed of between 48 kilometres an hour and 38 kilometres an hour depending upon whether they're express trains or, or stop trains. It suggested that if there are passing loops and the trains could run at 110 kilometers an hour, then it would take 22 minutes to reach Adelaide from Gawler Central. This means the train to part in Gawler Central at 7.45, 22 minutes later is 8.07 which means it would actually arrive just after this train. To do so, it would have to pass three other trains to get to Adelaide Railway Station at 8.07. So passing loops on the Gawler line would greatly facilitate the movement of express trains. <coughs> 